As a teacher, how do you integrate feedback into your teaching? Both teachers and students need feedback. Students need it to improve their overall classroom performance, while teachers rely on feedback to improve their lesson plans and curricula. Consider implementing these tips into your teaching as they can greatly improve your feedback program or help you to start a new one. I'm Alex with JotForm. Let's get started. First, let's dive deeper into why classroom feedback is so important. Students can benefit greatly from feedback in the classroom. It can give them a clear direction on how to improve their learning and ensures that they have a firm understanding of the subject matter. Quality feedback also supports their academic progress and success while simultaneously improving their self-awareness and self-confidence. Overall, giving students feedback provides them with the insights that allow them and their parents to see opportunities for growth. Letter grades say very little about a student's overall performance in the classroom. This is why it's a good idea to pair your letter grades with a detailed feedback system. Teachers can benefit from getting feedback from their students too. Teachers receive formal feedback from school administrators, and they can also receive less formal feedback from their very own students and parents. Providing teacher feedback can help teachers to adjust and adapt lessons to a student's immediate needs and gives teachers a better understanding of student progress to see if the class will meet their goals. Feedback can also help teachers identify areas where teachers can capitalize on learning opportunities and provide an opportunity for self-assessment and measure personal career growth. Now, let's get into the types of feedback that can help create the optimal classroom experience. A good place to start is appreciation. Rather than delivering negative feedback, start by expressing gratitude for your students and their efforts. An appreciative comment can go a long way as it helps students to feel more respected and open to other feedback that they may receive in the future. Another feedback type is sayback. This helps you to validate a student's work by restating comments they've made and referencing specific work that they've done. This method shows your students that you're listening and helps to validate the suggestions you make. Next, ask questions. When you ask thoughtful questions, it helps to further engage your students in a conversation and you can learn more about their situation on a deeper level. Next, offer your students guidance. When sharing feedback and suggestions with your students, make sure you give them a clear pathway to move forward. Don't just give them feedback, follow it up by outlining the next steps that they can follow. This can show that you're actively nurturing and supporting them. And finally, encouragement. End an interaction, especially if you gave them negative feedback, with words of encouragement. This shows how invested you are in your student's success moving forward. This will also show how committed you are to improving your overall classroom environment. Don't forget that you can utilize automation to collect classroom feedback. Now that you know the benefits and types of feedback to collect, it's time to implement a feedback system. This part can be challenging for teachers as they're already managing many other responsibilities every day. Rather than using a time-consuming manual process, you can instead create some simple online forms with JotForm. JotForm offers a wide array of online school forms meant to support teachers and students. They have some feedback form templates so you can easily collect and organize your information. There are even form templates for surveys, progress reports, evaluations, and other education workflows. You can choose a pre-designed template and customize it to include your preferred fields and questions. Keep in mind, there are assessment tools available in Google Classroom as well. Okay, let's review. Feedback for both teachers and students is extremely valuable in the classroom. It allows students to improve their learning and teachers to improve their teaching methods and lesson plans. When giving feedback to students, remember to offer them appreciation for their hard work. Include sayback, ask them questions, offer them guidance and words of encouragement. And when gathering teacher feedback, there are lots of forms available on jotform.com that make collecting feedback easy and organized. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm Alex for Jotform. See you next time.